I think it's live. <laughs> it's live. Welcome, everybody, to your favorite show that's hosted by Danielle or myself on a weeknight for Facebook regarding cooking in my kitchen. I think that's where we currently hold the number one spot. Um, no, Danielle's I here. I got the tow bell. So, we got a lot to talk about tonight. As you see in the description, we're talking about politics. We're talking about, I got fat again. You didn't get fat. We don't use the F word in that time. Did you see her just Actually, try to stab me? We we're talking about babies. We're talking about gigantic babies and tiny women. <laughs> this is a gigantic baby. This is a tiny woman. And I'm a terrible dog parent because Pippa doesn't have any food right now. Oh, good. We should be eating on We're the We're talking camera. about politics. We're talking about, uh, uh, how did... We're talking about politics. We need to, like, Oh, I'm talking about politics. Okay, what are you talking about? No, we're not talking about politics. Yeah, I am. So, and then we're talking about how to get in some vegetables for a pregnant woman when she doesn't feel like eating because Danielle still can't eat food. No, if somebody, anybody, is anybody out there? I'm 34 weeks pregnant. 34 weeks pregnant, and, and she still doesn't want to eat anything at all, ever, I ate, at like, all. four pieces of beef last night, some sweet potato. By four pieces, she means, like, this big. So, anyways, politics. Here's what I have to say about it. This is my political shirt. It says, be kind. Because apparently, some of my friends on Facebook, I don't have one of the Twitter machines, but my Facebook and Instagram friends, I didn't think that I would ever have to remind any of my friends that I consider to be good people to remember, be nice to each other. Just because you think Joe Biden is slipping into some sort of cognitive decline, okay, then we stop and just there. because you think Donald Trump is a Cheeto man, doesn't mean that the other people in your life, you have to be a dick. Be kind. Oh my gosh! It's... If a nine-year-old has a Facebook page, they shouldn't be on Facebook anyways. Be kind. <laughs> don't be a dick. Hi, Pippa. Can they see it? There she is. Yeah, hello. There's no reason to be a dick. If you hate Donald Trump, good. No one cares. If you hate Joe Biden, fantastic. Nobody cares. Don't throw away your friendships over people. I know. She's so hungry. In politics. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So, be kind. Don't be a dick. That's my whole political thing. We're already bad parents. Now, okay, on to are. gigantic babies and tiny women. First, we can talk about how you can feed Hold on, look babies. at this. Hold on, let me get a set tool. <laughs> so we are making easy broccoli casserole. It's broccoli, uh, cauliflower. Oh, I uh, forget the nursery Just thing. Just back up. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. What? The arms up. What? Are you serious right now? You have, you have belly. <laughs> so... It does feel like a human inside me. It looks like an alien. It, honest to God, looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. I would put it on the face space, but I think that's, like, really weird. And I All this baby wants is watermelon, but we're going to try and feed it chicken. And your family chicken. So it's chicken, cauliflower, broccoli, baked. It casserole. looks like eggs, yep. butter, mm -hmm. and cheese. Mm -hmm. So apart from the broccoli... And the chicken breast, it looks fantastic. So while we do this, Chris, um, we're doing this as, well, we're doing this for you, for families. But we're also back on track. Oh, because, yeah, because COVID finally caught up. Look, look how. <laughs> do you think that we're the same? We're not at all. We got, we Poor both. Chris, you think that he's getting the, the earning his title. I'm like, you're fine. But. I gained like 17 pounds in three weeks, no big deal, whatever, I'll get rid of it, it's fine. But who else has gotten, how, who else feels mm -hmm. like they've gotten a little, little chub chub during the COVID? <laughs> who feels? I feel Listen. like I got a little chub chub over the COVID. Chris and I have this packed. And the maybe, mirror shows it too. Maybe you all, I, hold on, we're going to just pack the mix. Here's what you do first. What do you do? If you're cooking along with us, which you're not, because I did not give you anything ahead of time. Sorry. All right. Oh, hold on. I'll so zoom in. So take hold on. two pounds of chicken breast and heat it in the oven on 400 degrees for 20 minutes. That's what I did first. Okay. I put some olive oil on it. I did a little bit of salt. Ooh. Okay. I did a little bit of salt and pepper, some olive oil, and I baked it in this three-quart dish on 400 degrees for 20 minutes and then let it cool and cube it for five minutes. Okay. 
or let it cool for five minutes and then I cubed it. That's all you do in the beginning, all right? Then, so we're gonna take that, you're gonna grab, I use cauliflower rice out of the bag. I usually would like to use regular cauliflower, but let's Not be real. Not cool. I know, sorry. You're, you wanna make this quick, right? This works too quick. You know it's less than 10 ingredients, but that's what we do. So I did two bags of cauliflower rice and one bag of broccoli and heated them up per the directions, okay? So y'all look how easy this is. Y'all, I hate when I am, but y'all look how easy this is. You're gonna throw this chicken in. Then you're gonna throw in two 10 ounce bags of cauliflower. Or get a real cauliflower like an adult. <laughs> no, y'all tell me, would, would y'all do bags or regular cauliflower made cauliflower? I know that people like Chase and Kyle, you're gonna say how I make, how you should make real cauliflower, right? Okay, so here's our pack. When any, when either one of us is starting to get a little out of control with our health, well, we won't say weight, with our health, we, so I don't what you're doing. We have this pack. We did it when we were dating. What, am I getting out of control? No, you don't get out of control. Danielle's like, I got so out of control, I had seven pieces of broccoli, <laughs> We have this pack with each other, we'll be like, hey, you need to get back to the gym. That's not true, I don't know where this is coming from. What? That's what that's our pack. you said that before. When have I ever had to tell you to go back to the gym? No, I'm saying you and me. If okay, we so we have a pack that when I get fat, she tells me to go to the gym. I is that more? Is that no, more? it's on both of us. Okay. We, if, if you say it to me, I'm okay. Why don't you use the KitchenAid for that? Mm -mm. Okay, then two eggs whisked. Probably that bowl is not big enough. I, me too. I'm going to stay back here. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. Okay. Look at this is. Two teaspoons of onion powder. Um, the recipe I've always used, it calls for two teaspoons of salt. I only use one. Chris, you didn't hear that. Two tablespoons of melted butter. Isn't this easy? Oh, oh it's obviously been sitting here. Y'all, look at, see? This is if you have too much butter, what happens to your heart? It hardens your arteries. I fix the salt. Do you see that? Look. Yeah, it looks Dang. fantastic. It looks delicious. Okay. And then will you pour that in? That's three cups of mozzarella cheese shredded. Cheese. I always do too big of a bowl or too, too small, small of a bowl. bowl. Whatever. That's a, that's a serious problem. It's fine. So that's it. Now we are going to throw this in this casserole dish and bake it for 50 minutes. Okay, talk. I'll do this. For 50 minutes on 400 degrees in the oven. Oh, look at you. That's good. I feel like we should get a, get a KitchenAid and just... Or if you have one, but oh, you would whisk it? it. Yeah, you put on that big, the big, the single piece one, and you're... this is why he's a chef. I just got the help this stuff. Oh, not a chef, but surprise guest. One week from today, yesterday, yeah. we have a real chef who actually knows what he's doing, who's going to come on the show and teach us how to make things that are not. It's not just some guy in a kitchen. Um, he basically has his own. Mm. Home... Pant arm that I saw today covered in tattoos of Ve vegetables. Vegetables. Are you kidding me? Chase, you became my spirit animal and you don't even know it. Yeah, Danielle said. So she saw his tattoo. Y'all see him next week and it's Chase. And he's got vegetables like sleeved out on his arm. And she goes, I never thought I would want a tattoo, but I would totally do that. I've never wanted a tattoo in my life, ever. It's just the thing. Anybody else okay. like that? Okay, so this is it. Can I throw this in? Never care. But I do think tattoos are very sexy. Especially on girls. When you have I, don't a sleeve, I don't have any, so what's that tell you? I, I, appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate them on other people, that's what I should say. But on girls, like what I like to see the tattoo. Go ahead and tell the world. Maybe, you know, 34 year old guys married to older women that own roofing companies and have a problem controlling their women. Oh, sorry. As well. Did you just say married to older women? Yeah. Do they not know? Do they not? That's so mean. <laughs> That's a, okay, then you're going to top this with Italian seasoning. Or what we would normally do is top it with a cup of Italian blended cheese. But 
fat boy over here has to practice self-control. I feel like people are going to think that I really say something new, and I don't. She hits I did me. not say anything. She hits me. I did not say anything. I feel like your, uh, your application... Look how pretty that is. Your application of Italian seasoning is severely lacking. Well, um, this is baking. We're going to put it in the oven. Uh, actually, you know what? Before it even bakes, we're going to just go ahead and thank our future sponsors. Yeah, future to Topo Chico. Mm -hmm. My number hadn't changed. 432-230-0874. Holler at your boy. I believe you put that on there. Well, I do all famous, the time. We're going to have to bleep that out. No, I'm going to keep the same number. And if somebody <laughs> really wants to call me and talk about my love of butter and salt, feel free. Bye. <laughs> All right, so... Oh, hold on. Can I tell them the pregnancy brain story? Yeah. So, I came home today, and Danielle, little pretty princess, decided that she was going to preheat the oven for this. She didn't check the oven and forgot that she hid a box of pizza in there, <laughs> so she almost burned the house down. But that wait. so bad. There's more. <laughs> then, she preheated the oven for 20 minutes, and it never got to heat. Why? Why did it never get to heat, you ask? Great question. He's a good, uh, good girl. It didn't get the heat because the oven door was open. She was preheating the oven with the oven door open. Wait. Pregnancy, Brian. I'm growing a human. And it's like, it's 17 inches long right now. Yeah, but say hi. I'm afraid you get it up. Say, say hi. Hi, you hi. Hi. So. That's it. Is that it? That's it. That's it. We did good. Uh, let us know if you're going to make this. And. I feel like I'm going to add. Probably double up on the broccoli on this recipe. Probably will. Double up on the broccoli. Actually, I would add a little bit more broccoli. I was looking at that. So I think that bag is only 10 ounces, and you really want about 16 ounces. But throw in a whole other bag of 10 ounces. No more vegetables, but better! So it's low carb, super easy, super healthy. The whole family will love it. Add the cheese on top if you want. 400 degrees, 15 minutes. I mean, 50 minutes. And uh, we're good to go. And I haven't cleared this through Danielle, but... I think next week we're going to make a super unhealthy chicken sandwich because we have a real chef coming on the show, and that's like one of his specialties. So it might not be a meal prep video next week, but it might be something that you definitely need to tune in to learn how to cook. Really? Yes. We'll let Chase decide. We'll let you decide. You guys want uh, that? Um, all right, that's or it. I'm not. The healthy one. Yeah. Does that mean I have to stop this? No, I'm going to stop. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Stay healthy. I'm just going to let it run and make it really awkward for you. Yeah. Just a real weird smile.